Had you tried it twice? No. Okay. Two bunk bed stories. Okay. The first one was one of my boys. Um, he was my best friend at the time. He lived with us. Um, I just happened to have a bunk bed, whatever. And um, so he was chilling at the house or whatever. He had his girl over. <clears throat> and I had my girl over. And um, so like, he was fucking her. He was fucking his girl up top. I was fucking my girl on the bottom. Please don't tell me the bunk bed broke. No. That's <laughs> that story. The other story is, is a little bit longer. It goes like this. My ex at the time, um, this is back when I actually had like a pager, you know what I mean? A beeper. And um Oh god, I remember those. Oh my god. Dude, yes. So she paged me. Like normally she paged me. I call her. While I was sleeping. She paged me. I had that shit sitting on the you know like the ladder. To go one up. One of the rungs. Oh, no, it yeah. hit you in the face, didn't no, it? No, no, no. It's better you than You had that. it clipped on to one of the metal bars. I had it clipped onto the wood shit. Yep. So, like, it would vibrate. Mm. Didn't answer that shit because I was knocked out. Right. Ten minutes later, <clears throat> she'd fucking page me and vibrate. Meanwhile, my boy that's on the, on the top, he would feel it. Because the bunk beds that we had, I didn't have my, my bed sitting in the frame. Like, it was sitting on the floor. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So, I didn't feel the vibration. So... Like, ten minutes later, a car pulled up. So he was, like, already awake because the pager vibrated the bed and woke him up. So he opened the window, and he was like, yo, dog, your girl's here. And I was, like, all happy and shit. I was like, yes, Jesus that's what's Christ. up. So she, I go to open the door, right? And she was like, where were you? I thought you were dead. You didn't answer me. And the bitch fucking punches me, dude. What? Really? I would have punched her in the fucking throat. But I'm not like that. I'm a f I can do that, though. But you can. But I don't hit chicks like that. Exactly. Like Tell I said, Ray. you're lucky you had tits on this pussy. I it as if you fight like a man, you deserve to get hit like one. I'm just saying, though. So, I'm chilling in the living room. I'm four brothers. I got constantly so yeah but throwing a water bottle in someone's head isn't fighting like a man really Mike <laughs> so, yeah. I fucking love you Mike <laughs> so like I was chilling in the living room and I was getting my ass beat by a bitch and I say a bitch because in all reality you gotta That's be a bitch if you're just gonna beat your man's ass for no reason at all yeah. so she's whooping my ass yeah. all my beatings were justified I'm just saying. So she's whooping my ass. My mom's boyfriend comes out and he's just laughing at me. <laughs> because I won't hit her back, dude. Like, <laughs> so, like. Yeah, but it takes a lot not to hit someone back if they're fucking <laughs> sitting on the ground. Yeah, you're you know. telling me. So she's like whooping my ass. And he's laughing at me. And I'm like, dude, really? Like, really? Like. You're not supposed to hit women. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Just I know what you mean, man. Like, back, babe. I can't hit a chick like that, dude. Like, unless it's like a sexual situation, and she's like, "Hey, do this," and I'm like, "Score." <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Like, I can't hit a woman out of anger, dude. I can't. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah. It's just not in mind. I you know why? Because when you're angry, you don't know your own strength. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. But Seriously. also, when you're in the moment, you don't know your own strength. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's my ass. Yeah, no, I know. But I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs>